to win for 10. I just made a legal bet on an NFL team. The wager was made possible by the United States Supreme Court ruling in May. It's not like Delaware hasn't had betting on professional football. Ten years ago, they were one of four states to have parlay betting on NFL games. A parlay bet means you have to pick three winners rather than one. All that changed. What you're looking at are the various odds of sports activities you can bet on here at Dover Downs. And you're likely to see something similar in Maryland if the legislature decides to pass sports gambling. It's not just flip a switch, definitely. Um, and that's why I think you'll see this roll out nationwide, state to state, but on somewhat of a slow process. They're talking about it in Virginia, Jersey's up and running, Pennsylvania has regulations, but the tax fees are fairly onerous in Pennsylvania, so they haven't pushed the button up there yet. Um, Connecticut, Ohio's talking, everybody's starting to talk, and state legislatures like to find tax revenues. The Dover Downs facility was able to put sports gaming in the area with horse racing. Much of what the casino had to do involved back-of-the-house operations. Sports gaming is managed by the Delaware Lottery. Odds and computer terminals are set by William Hill and Scientific Games. There are no limits on bets. However, the odds makers can limit or refuse a wager. There is one bet you will never be able to make. No wagering on Delaware collegiate sports. I think we'll have a ton of tire kickers, and I don't know that the novelty will ever wear off. Sports is what America does. Sports is what other countries do. As many as 32 states are looking to cash in on sports wagering, according to Elijah's Creature Gaming. How soon could you see sports gambling in Maryland? A bill failed this year, which would have put the issue before voters. The next available statewide referendum year won't occur until 2020. In Dover, Delaware, I'm Charles Robinson for Your Money and Business.